I mean, I think NYU could be a really great college for you. You love dancing and paintings. You could even like major in visual arts and performing. Oh, look. And you also have Barnard as an option. I think you should apply for both New York colleges. Hey, you with me? Oh yeah, um, I'm fine. Where were we? I was talking about Barnard College. I think you should apply to this one too. Oh cool, you went to that college, right mom? Mm-hmm. Oh look, and also Cornell. I have a bunch of friends who went there and they really loved it. I've been meaning to tell you this, but... I actually don't want to, to apply to any colleges in New York. It may sound stupid, but I just feel like there's been so many negative stereotypes about the people living in New York. That I'd be swooped up in it all if I were ever to settle in such a city. I'd have absolutely no room for my own creativity, individuality, and opportunity to learn who I am. As I'd be trapped in the city with all these horrible stereotypes of all the people living in New York. Yeah, I know, I'm speaking gibberish. You know, I'm just not making any sense. No, 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 I'm totally listening. I want to hear more. Go on. Well, I guess I get all these stereotypes from watching too much social media on my phone. Well, I guess you probably shouldn't go on social media anymore. I mean, I think that'll help. I just feel like living in New York, you can only live a certain way. You can either be vain fashionista. You know, the type of person living in New York who always has such an aesthetically pleasing look, walking down each avenue with such pride, never with any stress or lack of confidence. Hey, sir, I'm talking to you. Yeah. I'd like you to take a picture of me for my followers on Instagram. You know, if you'd like me to post for you too, you can just ask. There's a smudge on your camera. And then there's that sweet homeless man living in New York, hanging out on the streets all day, just waiting waiting for something good, for some hope, luck, to come around the corner. Hey sir, I'm talking to you. Yeah, I'd like you to take a picture of me for my followers on Instagram. He has this big smart brain overflowing with ideas and dreams too big for him to actually make something out of them. But he doesn't ever give up on dreaming and hoping. But for now, he goes on unnoticed by the world until this vain fashionista asks for a photo. Like me to post for you too, you can just ask. There's a smudge on your camera. Oh, you're talking to me. I I wasn't taking a photo of you. I was just taking a photo of the wall. I I could take some photos of you if you want me to, though. Um, nah, actually, I think I have enough. Okay. Lastly, you got this artist hipster who just wants to live and appreciate the world around him. You know, like me to post for you too, you can just ask. There's a smudge on your camera. Oh, you're talking to me. Sorry, I wasn't taking photos of you. I was just taking a photo of that wall. But I can totally take some photos of you if you want me to. Yeah, I think I have enough. Okay. So there you have it, my complicated mind at work. All the reasons I don't want to live in New York because of all these stereotypes. Here's what I think. I think you do want to move to New York. You just don't know how to. And you just have all these stereotypes stuck in your head. I lived in New York for many years and I never let anyone rob me of my individuality or creative side. So I think you just need to push all these negative stereotypes out of your head. Come on, let's go get some dinner and talk about college another time. Yeah, good idea. No more stereotypes. Whoa, I swear like I was in a trance for the longest time. Anybody else? Yeah, my friends too. Wait, what, what's going on? Do I know y'all? I don't think so. I don't know how I got here. Yeah, I don't know any of you guys either, but would you guys want to come and eat with me? I'm really hungry. Sounds good to me.
No more stereotypes.